Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 30th of January 2019 and the time has just gone 12.02 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is gold. Uh, the gold market has been pushing higher for many months now. Uh, it began its bounce back in August, but really since about mid November of last year, the gold market has been making a very, uh, very, very large move to the upside. And in fact, today the gold market hit a fresh eight-month high. Uh, if we take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram down here, we can see that in the last few sessions, as the gold has been, has been printing uh, um, fresh multi-month highs, we can see that there's been a clear swing from negative momentum to positive momentum, and there's actually an increase in positive momentum. So the steady increase in positive momentum confirms the upward move uh, we're seeing in the underlying gold market. So essentially, the market's moving higher, and the, and the momentum is clearly with the bulls. So if the market does manage to push on higher from here, keep an eye out for uh, the mid-May high of 12.36. Oh, sorry, apologies. Yes, sorry, 13.26. Uh, 1326 this area here and then if you go beyond that keep an eye out for 1335 these are levels we could see gold targeting in the near term uh, should the positive move uh, continue and even if gold does manage to have a, a bit of a pullback we could see fresh buyers enter the fold because over the last number of months as we can see here buying on the dip has been a very popular strategy so if the gold market does manage to pull back a bit uh, we could find some support coming into play in around this area here, in around the psychologically important 1300 level. Uh, and even if you drop, drop below 1300, uh, as long as we hold above this region here, 1276, it's likely, or it's more likely, we could see the, the gold market continue its wider upward trend. Uh, if you do see a break below 1260, apologies, 1276, this area here, we could see the gold market drift back towards uh, this region here at 1265 and drop below that could suggest we're heading back down towards the 1250 area this price actually this price area here which isn't too far away from the 200 moving average which comes into play at 1246 uh, if you are going to be trading gold please keep an eye out for the Federal Reserve meeting today uh, at 1900 GMT and 1930 GMT will have the press conference from the Federal Reserve no change is expected to the interest rate, but traders will be listening out um, for, this, for the press conference and assessing the language of the Federal Reserve. And in recent weeks, uh, the Fed have kind of moved away from previously hawkish commentary to a more kind of uh, neutral, to kind of slightly kind of dovish commentary and kind of sit and hold uh, type, type commentary from the, from the U.S. Central Bank. There's a fairly strong inverse relationship between the U.S. dollar, which is fueled by the um, perception of U.S. interest rates, and the gold market, and in recent weeks and months, as as, as gold as uh, as gold has risen, it, we've seen the U.S. dollar drift lower. So, if the, if the Federal Reserve continue to give their less than hawkish, a bit more kind of neutral uh, position, and 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 give an indication, we're not going to see any interest rate hikes uh, in the medium in the kind of short to medium term. That's likely to kind of put key pressure on the U.S. dollar, which in turn is likely to kind of get, help gold move higher. Uh, just before I go, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos uh, we make here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.